but if you have got some, I will prompt you when to bring them in. Okay, so we're going to start in standing and get yourself somewhere comfortable where you can see your monitor. And we're going to start with inner hip width apart, feet melting out onto the mat, spread those toes and soften your knees a little bit. Okay, bring your core, so bring your pelvis into neutral, which means we're not rounded and we're not arched through the lower back. Open up the chest and we're going to start by taking those arms up. So palms are facing forwards, arms are up and taking a breath in as we bring our arms up to the top and exhaling out as we come back down. Okay. So breathing in, palms facing forwards. Bring the air into the lungs, palms foot turn to the outside of the room and press the air out as we come back down. A few more of these, just bringing those arms up. Good. Turn the palms to the outside of the room, press the air out as you come back down. Two more. Come up onto your toes, really lengthen up as tall as you can. Draw your stabilizers in and exhale and press the arms down to the outside. And once more, inhale, rise up onto those toes and lengthen. Palms to the outside of the room and exhale and press all the way down. Let the fingers come behind you and link your fingers into your lower back. Have your elbows out to the sides. Yeah. So they're kind of resting on your lower back, your hands. Elbows are wide out to the sides. Draw your pubic bone to your navel and think about drawing open those collarbones. So opening the chest. Keep that pubic bone and navel connection so that you don't push your tummy forward. And open the collarbones, open the breastbone. And feel that stretch through the front of your chest. Drop the shoulders from the ears and take the left ear to the left shoulder. So keep those collarbones open, keep the shoulders dropped and left ear to left shoulder. And then float back through the centre, just check your shoulders are dropped and take the right ear to the right shoulder. And come back to the centre, unlink your fingers behind. Link the fingers in front at shoulder height. And now we're going to do the opposite and think about separating your shoulder blades. So soften the elbows, drop the chin to your chest, and think about taking the shoulder blades wide around the back of your chest wall. You're drawing those shoulder blades around the sides of your rib cage and keeping that chin tucked in. Again, draw your pubic bone to your navel so that you don't poke your bottom or your tummy out. Bring your head up, follow as the hands go up to the sky, to the ceiling. And then unlock your fingers and once more behind us, draw down to the outside, link the fingers behind, have the elbows wide. Drop the shoulders down from the ears, open up the collarbones. Keep that pubic bone navel connection and take the left ear off to the left shoulder. And the right ear off to the right shoulder. Okay, back to the centre. Bring the arms in front. And we're coming into a roll down. So roll yourself down. The idea here is to keep the knees as straight for as long as you can. And we want to end up with the roll down. Hanging, almost hanging like a rag doll about an inch, fingers inch off the mat. Okay, so if you can keep your knees straight and the hands are an inch off the mat, great, press into the heels. If you need to soften the knees to get the hands to an inch off the mat, then soften them just when you have to. Okay, drop that chin into your chest and we're just hanging like a rag doll and pressing through the heels more than the toes. And come back up again. And once more, roll the chin forwards, roll the shoulders forwards. 
think about curling the upper back as you go down to the floor. Keep the knees straight if you can and end up hanging an inch off the mat. Only bend the knees when you have to and press through those heels. And slightly bring your weight forwards a little bit. You're pressing through the heels, but slightly shifting your weight forwards. Heel back up on that one. And then we're going to stretch that inner thighs. So take your right leg out to the side. Bend the right knee. Keep the left knee, um, left leg straight. And think about dropping your left hip. So you're almost pushing that left hip in towards the center. Bring the right arm up. And slide the left hand down the thigh. And the right arm's coming over, so we're feeling that stretch on the inner thigh. This knee's bent. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bring the arm down and now bend through the left knee. Bring the left arm up and over to the side and sink the right hip in. Okay, and we're reaching over. To the side. So that left arm's reaching over to the side, the left knee's bent, the right knee's straight, and we're feeling a stretch through the inside of the right thigh. Once more to the other side. So left arm comes down, right arm comes up, over to the side, sink the left hip into the midline. And once more to the other side. Put the tailbone in a bit to correct any positional errors. Okay. Bring yourself back to the center. Keep the feet about this wide. And we're just opening up the hips with a, just a normal gentle squat. So start to drop down into your squats. Bring yourself up nice and tall. Start to lower as you feel more comfortable. And remember to open through those hips. So open through the hips as you come down and press through the heels as you come up. Open through the hips as you come down, press through the heels as you come up. Open through the hips and press through the heels. For the next five, as we come up, let's come up onto our toes, lift the heels. Good, heel raise, come down onto the heels, down into your squat. Back up, lift the heels, press through the toes, down with the heels, down into our squat. Press back up, lift the heels, down onto the heels, down into our squat. Last one, press up, through the toes, and down squat. Hold it there for five, five, four, three, two, Okay, well done. Right, that's our warm up. So let's start um, our sequence of work for this evening. We're going to use our band to start with. So pop the band, tie it around just above the knee. Okay, so you need it just above the knee. And it's going to be on there for quite a while. So it's entirely up to you how tight you want to make it. The tighter it is, the harder you'll be working. All right, and if you think at some point it's got too slack, and tighten it back up again. So start about hip width apart, and we're going to shift the weight onto the right side. Yeah. Bend that right knee. You probably want your hands out in front. Bend the right knee down to that single squat. Imagine you've got a compass. Your left toe is now pointing north. Okay, and we're squatting down through that right knee without lifting um, or straightening the right knee. Lift the left toe, hover that toe, draw a line back until you get to south on the compass. Okay, press and spread those toes. Lift the toes, draw a line as close to the floor as you can, hover forward, tap north again. Lift those left toes, hover that line, 
until you're directly behind you and you tap south. Good. Keep going, hover, draw that line forward as far forward to north as you can. Bend the left knee, draw a line behind you until you tap to south. Keep going, draw that pubic bone into your navel. Tap to north, hover to draw that line, tap to south. And it should really be a tap, not a foot placement. So really working through that right quad and glute. down as you tap to north, bend that left knee, come out behind you, tap to south. Next time you tap to south, just lift up, go quarter to east, or you might be west actually, so think about that. basically come a quarter out to your left hand side, sink further through that right hip, and then we're doing taps on that right left side, one, two, three, four, Five, good. Hover forward, lift the toe, hover to north. Five more. Back to south. Draw that imaginary line coming forward to north. And back to south. To north. To south. You should be feeling this in the outside of your bum, through your quads. To north. When you come to north, Quarter out to the side again, lowly as you can on that right side, five taps, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, come back up, you should be feeling that through that side. Okay, let's do it on the other side. So through that left side, sink down into that squat. Draw that line forwards with those right toes, far as you can to north. Okay, you're squatting through that left leg. Lift the toes, imaginary line out behind you as far as you can. Tap to south. Hover those toes, come forwards. Tap north. One. Two. Three. Ooh. Five, six. Keep that discipline, keep reaching as far forward as you can and as far back as you can before you tap. Spread those toes. Okay, next time you come south and you've tapped behind you, lift up, hover. Water out to your right hand side, sink down through those left quads and tap five times. Five, four, three, two, one. Draw that line back again, back to south and forwards up to north. Try and keep that knee in line with your toes. That's why we've got the band. So push out against the band if you need to. A great exercise for runners. Seven, any stability work. Eight, David, your tennis. Anna, tennis. Matt, badminton. Nine. Right, next time you come north, sink down, push those hips back on that left side. Quarter out to the side. Keep that knee, push that left knee out against the band. Five taps. Five, four. Three, two, one, and relax. So that hopefully was getting inside of your glutes here and your quad. Okay, we'll come back and maybe do another one of those in a minute. Let's bring ourselves into our squat position. We're using the band to prompt ourselves to turn out slightly and come down into your squat. Nine. 
Oh, sorry, guys. This is, if you want to use weights, you can use weights on these squats. And one, hold it down there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Connect your pubic bone to your navel. Lift those heels and tap the heels down. Pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one okay stay on your toes press up if you can then drop down onto the heels okay well done shake the legs out have a drink if you need to we're going to do one more set of compass points and we'll just do one set of taps to the side so this time i'd really like you to try and focus on when you're squatting really trying to get as far north as you can Hover and tap south. And also, if you can see yourself on your screen, you don't want your knee moving inward. You want to be pushing out against that band and stay out. Okay? So, onto the right leg first, down to our squat, shift the weight onto that right side. Left toes tapping forwards to north. Lift, float behind to south. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reach as far as you can. Eight, nine, ten. Come back to south. Quarter. Out to the side, so a quarter out to your left hand side. Drop onto that right squat and tap for five. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, and stand back up. We'll do the other side into our squat. Weight onto that left side. Float the right toes forwards to north. Lift behind to south. Reach behind you. Two. Reach as far as you can south, sweep that foot, hover that foot, quarter turn, out to that right hand side, check your knees over your toes, tap for five, four, three, two, one, well done, draw it back to north, bring yourself up to standing. Excellent, okay, pick up the weights if you're doing weights, it really should be getting into your glutes. If you're a runner, that's a really good warm up. Um, if you go for a run, do that as a good warm up to fire yourself up. So down into our squat. Ten. Pick up your weights if you want to. Nine. Eight. Remember to draw that pubic bone into your navel. Sit back into your squat. Three. One. Back down once more. Draw a pubic bone to navel. Tip your heels and pulse for ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Keep pressing out against the band. Six. Five. Four. Two. One. Keep pressing out against the band. Lift the heels. Come up onto your toes and lower yourself down. Okay. Well done, and now we're going to go into uh, what we're doing now. We've done that. Roll down into our pikes. Keep the band there. We're going to be using it for some of our mat work. So keep the band there. I'm just going to drop the mat down to the camera. Roll yourself down into a pike position. So feet hip width apart at the end of the mat. 
roll yourself down until your fingers are floating above the mat. Draw that pubic bone into your navel, ready to take your weight. Take your hands forwards about two thirds of the way to the top of the mat. Spread the ten fingers and press down through those heels and press your hips backwards. And then for this one, draw the pubic bone to your navel. Bend the knees, come down to hover above the mat. Good, two inches off the mat. Breath in, exhale, pubic bone goes to navel. Press out against the band, back up into your pike. Push the hips up, press down through the heels. Breath in, exhale, lower back down. Press out against the band, keep those glutes working. Go through that sequence three or four times yourself at your own pace. Keep the breathing relaxed. Exhale, draw the pubic bone to your navel. Inhale, exhale, press back up. Push the hips back, press through the heels. And to hover once more. Back up, tight. Back to pike. Make this pike the last pike. Okay, and we're going to take our hands out towards the top of the mat. And bring your chest forward. Tuck those hips in. And now we're going to come down to drop the knees to hover. So long hover. Okay, and then press up into full plank. If you want to carry on doing the shorter hover, do the shorter hover. Drop down to hover, pubic bone to navel, press up into your plank. Spread those fingers, drop down to hover, press up through the heels. Drop down and press up. Okay, slight change. Drop down to that long hover, press up into full plank. Plank rock, so press through the toes, bring the chest forwards. Take a breath in, pubic bone to navel. Exhale, press back through the heels, drop the knees to a long hover. Pull back up to full plank, press through the toes, bring the chest forwards. Three more, rock back, down to half press, back up to full plank, rock forwards onto the toes. Press through the heels. Last two. Drop down. Press back up. Rock forwards. Rock back. Last one. Drop down. Draw that pubic bone to your navel as you press and lift the hips. Chest forwards. Chest back. Draw pubic bone to navel. Drop the knees down to the mat. Well done. Come back into child's pose just to have a recovery. The next exercise is into full plank position and either a full press up for 10, 12, um, or a half press or a mixture of both. Okay, so come up onto all fours. Take your hands forwards of the shoulders. If you're doing a half press, think about taking your knees away from your hips. Knees are away from the hips. The chest comes down to the mat. The elbows go wide. Okay, if you're doing full press up, press out with the left, press out with the right, take the chest down to the mat and press back up. Keep that pubic bone engaged to your navel, whichever one you're doing. Down to the other side, back to the nose, take those knees away from the hips. And take the chest to the mat. Keep that pubic bone to your navel engaged. Last three. Three, two, one. Well done. Come back to Charles' pose again.
and bring your breathing back. up into four point and we're threading the needle so in four point position remember try not to have the weight through your kneecap so distribute the weight through the shin bone area spread those ten fingers not quite as wide as the mat take the back of your right hand and you're passing that back of the right hand and sliding it to the side of the room taking your right shoulder down towards the mat Keep the weight even through the right and the left leg. Okay, so make sure your right leg is taking as much weight as the left. Bring the right hand back. Take the back of the left hand. Glide it through the space. Heading for the side of the room. Left shoulder's coming down to the mat. Right elbow softens. And keep the weight through the left shin. Or left length and the right side and reach as far as you can. Pull that left hand back and pop it back onto the mat. And then just a cat stretch and tuck that tailbone in. Mobilize the lower back and down into a cow stretch. And once more. Okay, we're done right now, we're going on to our side. So tonight's glutes work is going to be on our side. And we're going to start with our elbow underneath our shoulder. Keep the band in place still. And you want your hips in line with your shoulders, the knees slightly forward. So we're kind of, what's that? More than, what's no, 10, 30 degrees at the knee. So slightly longer. To pop the hand behind your head, whichever side is the upper hand, and lift the bottom hips up. So press the bottom hips up, lengthen the top leg. Keep it resting on the floor, but lengthen the top leg. Now drop the lower hip down a couple of inches, and then press back up top hip to the ceiling. Draw that pubic bone to your navel as you drop, and lift and press up to the ceiling. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lengthen those toes that are pushed away from you. Nine, ten. Stay up there on that tenth one. Stack the knees and the heels. Lift, keep that hip high. Squeeze the heels together. Lift the top knee. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Don't worry if you haven't got band, by the way. Sorry. Four. Just squeeze the heels together. Press up with the knee. Three, two, one. Hold it there. Keep that knee open. Keep those hips up. Lift up the heel in line. Ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven. This is working your underneath hip. Six, five, three, two, one. Heel to heel, knee to knee, drop down. Oh, well done. Down onto our hand. Yeah, sorry guys, if you don't have a band, it really hasn't mattered. Um, please don't worry, just do everything the same, but without the band. Okay, squeeze those heels to heels. Lift the top knee. Lift the um, foot up level. We've got knee and heel level. Drop the knee to the knee. Open that knee up. Drop the knee to the knee. Keep the heel high. Open up. Keep going knee to knee. Open that hip. Well done. Knee to knee. Open that hip. Knee to knee. Open the hip. Five more. Five. Push out against that band. Four, three, two, one. Hold it there. 
extend that leg nice and long. Press the bottom leg into the mat. Draw the pubic bone to the navel. Ten pulses up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Bend that knee and lower that down. Okay, coming up into kneeling. Come up in kneeling. We're going to go down onto the side that you haven't just done. This is a slightly new one. So come up into kneeling. A different way to do a sort of mermaid stretch. Tuck your toes under so the feet aren't flat. The toes are tucked under on the mat if you can. I'll give you an alternative in a second if this is a bit uncomfortable. And take your left hand, look at your left heel, place your left hand onto your left heel. Okay, so relax those toes, the weight bearing through that heel. Bring the right arm up, keep the gaze forwards. Bend the left elbow, draw that pubic bone to your navel, and reach back behind you and lengthen as you go. You're really weight bearing through those extensors. Keep breathing. Holding on with those abdominal muscles. Now reach slightly over to the left hand side. Keep breathing. Draw that cute bone to your navel. Come back to the center. Bring yourself up and forwards. Okay, same on the right. So. Right hand goes onto your right heel, left arm comes up, reaching back. If you don't like this, come into a normal zigzag position where your sole of your foot's on your thigh and we're reaching over and you can do your mermaid in this position. Okay. But for those of you that have now got your right hand on your heel, Bring that left arm over to the right hand side. Soften the right elbow slightly. Keep that connection between your pubic bone and your navel. Keep the breathing back. Take a breath in. Exhale, bring the line back to the center. Press through the right side and release yourself forwards. Okay. So that really works your lumbar extensors as well as the abs. Still be yourself round and come down onto the other side. So we need our um, elbow at a right angle underneath our shoulder. Hips in line with the heels, but a shallowish um, bend at the, at the knees. Hand places behind the head, resting in the crown of the head. Open that elbow up. You're open through the front of the chest. Lengthen the top leg so it's still in line with your hip. Lift the bottom hip. So draw that pubic bone to your navel. Drop a couple of inches. Press back up. One, two, three, four, I just remove my elbow. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Bring those hips up as high as you can. Draw that pubic bone to your navel. Tuck your tailbone in. Stack your heels together. Keep the knees open. And down for ten. Nine, eight. Keep those hips high. Six, five, four. Three, two, one. High as you can here. Lift the heel up in line. Ten pulses up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Keep those hips high. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Heels to heels. Knee to knee. Drop the hips down. Well done. Down to our arm. Bring that knee up and place it 
Wait, here was that last time. Okay. Oh, we haven't done our pulses. Oh, okay, we'll do them in line, sorry. Bring that leg up, and we're going to do 10 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your heels back to your heels. Good. Drop the knee to the knee. Open up that knee. One, two, three. Press up as high as you can. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Press the bottom knee into the mat if you're rolling as you lift. Ten. Lift that knee up. Lift that heel. Ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the heels back to the heels. Keep that knee nice and high and lower back down. Well done. Sorry, I think I might have gone a bit wonky then. And onto our tummy. We can take our band off now if we've got band. Glutes the breather. On to our tummies, everyone. Okay, so that everyone that's new this evening, the important thing when you're working on your tummy is that you think about lengthening your tailbone and drawing your pubic bone into your navel, and that will stabilize your pelvis and your core and enable you to move your arms and legs with more control okay so we're going to rest our foreheads on our fingers so gently interlace your fingers and rest your forehead onto your fingers elbows wide out to the side feet are resting with the big toes turning inwards okay so lengthen that tailbone, lengthen that coccyx. Draw your shoulder blades down to your back pockets and engage your pubic bone to your navel. Keep your fingers on the mat. Keep your gaze straight down to the mat. Lift up your chest. Okay. Engage, make sure you're engaged through that core. Now bring your arms wide into goalpost. Feet are resting down. Arms are in goalpost position. Take them forwards to meet above you. Bring them back to goalpost position. Gaze is straight down on the mat. Lengthen that tailbone. Bring the arms forwards to meet above you. Bring the arms back to goalpost position. Imagine you've got tennis balls, or slightly bigger than tennis balls. You're rolling them forwards to meet above your head, and then you're rolling them back wide out to the sides. Five more. Five. Four. Don't let the shoulder blades creep up to your ears. Three. One. Roll pace, fingers in front, foreheads rest down. Whilst we rest, let's take our right foot with our right hand and bring our right heel to our bottom. If you can't get hold of your foot, stick your fingers in your socks or anything that you can get hold of and bring that heel as close as you can to your bottom. Press your hips into the floor, press the front of your hips. Into the floor. Okay, let the right leg go. Bring your right hand in front to rest your forehead on. Take your left foot and bring your left heel to your bottom and press the front of your hips into the mat. Lengthen your tailbone.
Okay, let the uh, left leg go and down. And this time we're going to do single arm swimming. So make a diamond shape with your four fingers and thumbs. Diamond shape with your four fingers and thumbs. Where your thumbs meet should be between your eyebrows. Your elbows are wide to the side and you draw your shoulder blades down the back of that chest wall. Okay. Keep that diamond shape. Look into the center of the diamond. Lift your chest. Straighten the right arm out. Keep the left forearm and the diamond in touch. Lengthen the right arm. Lengthen the toes for one end of the room. Lift the left toes. Lengthen the left leg. Now lift the right arm and the left leg at the same time and lower together. One, two, keep that gaze through the diamond. Three, lengthen and lift. Four, five, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your bum as you lift the left leg. Seven, eight, Nine, ten. Bring the right half of the diamond back. Keep that breastbone up. Rest the left leg down. Straighten the left arm in front. Lengthen the right leg off the mat. Keep the right forearm and half a diamond. And lift both of the opposite arm and leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bring that diamond, keep the chest up. For those of you who want a challenge, we're going to try and swim alternate arms and legs. So we've got no stabilizers. If the um, taking both arms away is a bit much, um, keep the legs down. And just work the arms okay so if you think it's a bit much just keep the legs down on the floor and just work or turn the arms so take the right arm in front of you engage your core bring the left arm in front of you lift the left leg right arm right arm left leg imagine you're just bouncing a tennis ball up and down gently I find that quite hard. Keep your gaze down on the mat. Keep the legs down if it's tough. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, lower down. Okay, bring your hand to the sides of your shoulders. Bra straps for ladies. The kind of side of your middle of your rib cage. Palms are flat on the mat. Top of the feet are relaxing on the floor. Imagine the elbows are magnets and they're being attracted to each other. So they're being pulled in to your chest. Okay, so the elbows are being pulled into your chest. Palms are flat. Press through the palms. Keep those elbows tucked in. Lift the chest. Keep the gaze on the mat. Press through the palms a bit further. Straighten the elbows. Bring yourself up onto your knees. Okay, feet together, knees wide. Back into child's pose. Knees as wide as the mat. Feet together. Sit and push those hips back. Back up into all fours, and it's time to roll into our back. So bring yourself onto your back. Slightly. Back onto our mat. And whilst everyone's getting settled, bring your right knee into your chest if you're there. Keep the left knee bent. Remember to like, soften that breastbone. Breastbone stays quiet. Melt it into the mat. Bring the right knee into your chest. Keep 
drawing that right at me in a little bit further. Now hug it in, keep that squeeze on the right knee as you slide away the left leg. And point those left. Pull the left leg up towards you and slide the heel back up, slide the knee back up to bent. Now keep that right knee and bring the left knee in to join it. Curl yourself up a little bit like a ball. And then hold the left knee into your chest. First of all, just place the right foot onto the mat. Soften that breastbone. Ease it straight up at the ceiling. Okay, relax your lower jaw. Now slide the right leg away. And pull the toes up. Bring the right foot onto the mat, the left foot onto the mat. Keep the um, heels relatively close to your bottom. Feet, toes are spread. Hip width apart. Hands are out to the side, arms are relaxed. Press through your feet and roll the hips up into a bridge. Keep that breastbone relaxed and then roll yourself back down again and uncurl. Curl that tailbone up, press through the feet, lift yourself up into the bridge. Remember, we're trying to lengthen those thigh bones. So lengthen those thigh bones, but keep the chest soft. And then roll back down again. Three more. Press through the feet. Roll up. Lengthen your thigh bones. Imagine trying to take your knees towards your toes. Press and keep the chest in the back. And two more. Okay, next one we're going to do single leg work. Got two levels here. Level one is to rest the foot onto the thigh. So put your left foot onto your right thigh, like a figure of four, and do your single leg bridge in that position. Or the slightly trickier level is to have your um, left leg in tabletop. So right knees at 90, knees forward of the hip. Okay, so you're either resting the leg or the left leg's in tabletop. Okay, let's press through that right thigh, lengthen the right thigh bone, bring yourself up into a bridge. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll yourself back down. And press up again. Four more of these. Five, four, three, two, one. And back down. And roll yourself back up. Four, three, two, one. Now I'm to put my leg across for those of you doing figure of four. Press up, gaze straight up at the ceiling, shoulder blades melting into the mat. Lengthen that thigh bone and lower back down. Okay, change legs. Press the left leg down, bring the right leg up or across into figure of four, and roll up through those hips, lengthen the thigh bone, press through the foot, lift up, hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one, and roll back down. And back again. Four more to go through. Two, one. Last two. And last one. Ah. Okay, well done. Just do pelvic tilt, just to even 
looking at your weight bearing. Abs work. So to start with, we're going to do our hundreds. Um, so for this one, start with your hands behind your head. So link your fingers, rest the crown of your head into your linked fingers, and your thumbs are kind of coming down the back of your neck to give you that bit of support. So that if you can rest that head and make it heavy, it's got a nice cradle to sit in. Again, gaze is straight up to the ceiling, elbows are nice and wide. Think about having an orange in between your chin and your chest. So lengthen that tailbone, tuck that tailbone in, draw that pubic bone to your navel, and curl up the chest. So pubic bone to navel, curl up the chest. Elbows are wide. And we're gonna bring right leg up, left leg up. That curl up. Take the hands to the outside, Imagine you've got tennis balls under your hands and we are bouncing up and down. Keep that height up and that curl. This is hundreds or pulses. Okay, one, two. Keep that pubic bone to your navel. Keep those legs as straight as you can. Keep that chest curled up. Gaze is kind of now at your knees and bounce those tennis balls up and down. Keep going. Keep the tennis balls going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Crisscross the legs. Oh, we can't bounce and do that. Put your hands behind your head. Crisscross the legs. Rest that head. Cross the right and left in front of each other. Keep that curl up if you can. Draw that pubic bone into your navel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Get ready to go forwards and backwards. One, little forwards and backwards. Small movement. Keep that curl up. Keep pubic bone to navel. 10, Nine, eight, hang on, seven, six, five, oh, my legs are dropping, four, three, two, one, Whoa. bend those knees, curl yourself back down, feet down to the mat. Keep that gaze up to the ceiling, keep your elbows wide, slide out the left leg, as long as you can on the left side. Bring the right leg to tabletop. So that's 90 at the knee, just forwards of the hips. Think of that apple in between your chin and your chest. Elbows out in your periphery. Okay, drop the right elbow to the floor. Bring the left elbow forwards and take your left armpit to your right knee. One, two, small pulses. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep the elbows wide. Eight, nine, ten. Keep yourself up. Both legs to tabletop. Extend the right leg. Keep the left leg. Open the elbows. Take the left elbow down to the floor and pulse up with the right arm. Ten. Well done. Back to neutral. Bring both those um, legs up to tabletop. Rest yourself back down. Now we're going to do um, elbow to knee. So for this one, again, soften that jaw. Bring the elbows into your peripheral vision. They're not as wide, they're into your peripheral vision. Press out with the right leg. And bring the right elbow to your left knee. Okay, and then alternate. Press out with the left, bring the right knee in, 
Left elbow goes to right knee. Press, elbow to knee. Press. Try and keep that head heavy. Do as many as you want to. I'm going to do three more. Three, two, one. Oh, come back to the centre and roll yourself back down. Open those elbows. Well done if you're still going, guys. Okay, relax those arms. Let's straighten out the right leg. Let's take the left arm up above our head. Bring the left knee into your chest. Take the right hand onto the outside of the left knee. And we're going to take that left knee over to the right hand side of our body. And your left arm is going to come out at like quarter past or quarter two on a clock. I've been trying to keep time. <laughs> the knees going down to the mat. Being guided by that right hand. Keep that gaze straight up at the ceiling. Okay, sweep that left hand back up to 12 o'clock. Draw your pubic bone into your navel to bring that left knee back across the centre. Place the left foot onto the mat. Bring the right arm up by your right ear. Place the left hand onto the outside of the right knee. Straighten the left leg and bring your right knee across your body until it comes to rest on the mat. And your right arm sweeps round a quarter out to the side. Keep that gaze up. Bring yourself back to the centre. Bring your arms out to the side. Heels up to your bottom. And look to your left hand and take the right knees to the right side. And look to that left hand. Keep the heels and knees flat. Take a breath in. And exhale. Take the breath in again, and exhale. Next time you breathe out, breath in. Exhale, draw pubic veins and navel. Bring those knees through the center, and take them to your left hand side, and look to your right hand. Take a nice breath in through those lungs, and exhale. Breathe in again. Think about them being a tank. They're filling up from the bottom. And exhale. Next time you exhale, bring the knees back to the centre. Put your hands around the front of the knees. And bring them into your chest. If you want to lift your head and tuck yourself up like a ball, you can. Or you can keep your chest down. Whatever feels more comfy. And then when the feet are back on the mat, full body stretch to finish. So reach for the top of the room and the bottom of the room. Stretch your toes, stretch your fingers. And then relax. Sit yourself up. Oh, we should do a roll up now, though, shouldn't we? So if you can roll up, your arms overhead. Draw that pubic bone into your navel. Use those tummy muscles. They're not too tired. And bring yourself up into position. Well done.